Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and today I have another Star Wars The Black Series unboxing for you and this time it is Star Wars Black Series Moff Gideon. Let's go. Angry Andy, Angry Andy Reviews. Angry Andy. Okay, well here we have the Star Wars Black Series Moff Gideon figure. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while and I'm pleased to say it looks absolutely fantastic. It has tons of little bits of detail and I think it's a great little figure and it really showcases the unique sort of styling of the character that we've seen in the Mandalorian show thus far over the course of two seasons um his features uh excellent work again sort of capturing that photorealistic look of uh Giancarlo Esposito the actor who plays Moff Gideon and of course for those who don't know Moff Gideon is um an imperial um leader who basically is out there trying to capture the child who we know as Grogu now, and he will do anything to capture the child. Um, but just going back to the figure itself, I mean, just looking at it, the as you can see, the light reflecting there off the, the chest plate and everything, I think the, the figure has a great variety to it. You have got that shiny armour piece there, you've got the more matte black sort of leathery texture there which looks fantastic. You've got a nice lovely red strip running down the arms and the legs, as you can see right there. I think it looks really good. And of course you have that red extra portion there on the belt. It just looks really, really interesting. It looks really different to what we've seen before, but again, quite familiar. And I do think it is just the, the variations in sort of like the, the shiny perfect black armor and the red sort of outlines really really good i think the facial details are pretty exceptional on this particular figure as well uh, some of them have been a bit windy recently if you want to call it that the hair detailing there as well is perfect especially around the back and as you can see there on the back of his armor piece there just a change in the light there you can see there's a nice little gap there and that is purely for this so he does come with a cloak unfortunately it isn't a fabric cloak i did think it might be a fabric one but it's not it is a piece of sort of moldable plastic the unfortunate thing is that i have discovered already having fiddled around with this is that it does kind of weigh the character down considerably it really does weigh the figure down so you do need to have a bit of a fiddle to try and get him to stand up properly. And I'm not going to lie, that is quite annoyingly difficult just on the fly. You really do have to find a position and get him in there. And I am failing miserably, as you can see, he just wants to fall over constantly. So I'll remove the cloak for the moment. We'll just have a quick look at that. Very simple. It's got a nice little red sort of detailing on the, on the inside. And then again, just plain black on the outside. Um, I'm pleased that it fits via a space at the back of the figure rather than a couple of couplers which usually sit on here for some of the other ones and they just fall off. Yeah, they're not very good at all. But yes, pleased that this one does have sort of like a bit more secureness to it. Moving on, you get a couple of other little pieces of uh, accessories. Tiny, tiny blaster. As you can see there, tiny blaster, and he does have a holster on the side, which I'll show you in just a moment. Moving on there quickly, does come with the dark saber as well, which is fantastic. And it looks like it's straight out of the show, straight out of the Clone Wars series. Really, really good. 
and the beauty of this is of course they are releasing a Bo-Katan figure and you'll be able to pair that up with her if that is your wish I suppose but there you have it very very simple very very nice just going back to the figure himself I think it's a really good piece really really good piece I'm just a little bit disappointed that there's going to be a bit more fiddling around trying to get this thing to <laughs> get him to stand up in an effective way but other than that I think he's a really good really really good, good figure so like I said there is a holster there on the side that will just pop straight in there and that fits quite snugly as well again some cases with the holsters on some of these figures they don't feel all that snug that one I'm giving it a little tug there yeah it does take a little bit more than just a simple pop out it feels quite levery that as well oh just nearly lost it yeah that feels a bit more levery than usual so it's not just a hardened piece of plastic that is a bit more pliable if you like so I'll find that plaster again just get that straight in there you can squeeze it in so it does feel a bit more snug but yes there you go very nice and of course like I said he does come with the dark saber in the pack we see him brandish this at the end of the first season and of course no spoilers about what happens in season two but it does move on to somebody else but there you have it really really good figure i really like this figure i think it's more to do with the facial work i think the facial work here is uh really really good and in general the detailing on the figure is excellent as well as you can see on the front of his belt there some really really decent detailing on the chest plate like i said all the little knobs and things very much akin to what we saw with uh with vader obviously not as intricate but it does give you that sort of um connection or feel if you like i do really just like the the shiny metal work of the armor here i think that really makes it stand out really captures the light pretty well for me and that scowl <laughs> the scowl it's just john carlo esposito all over isn't it fantastic but there you have it there is the black series moff gideon action figure and i think this is still pretty much widely available at the moment unlike some of the other figures that are out there so if you're looking for one of these i'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick one up quite easily and for a reasonable price as well so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please do like and subscribe to the channel for more unboxings just like this thank you very much bye bye